Hi, this is GunNet226. Uh, today we're going to look at this uh, 511 tactical boot sock. Now, you can ask, well, why is he doing a video about socks? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I've been through a lot of socks in my life, and I haven't been happy with a whole lot of them. But, um, these socks seem to be pretty good. And I just want to go over a few of the points uh, with you on uh, what I like about these guys. Now, first off, there are a couple different things. There's like a level one sock, um, level two sock, and a summer sock. So it's got a few different kinds of uh, variety for it. <clears throat> now, these are 80% Cool Max material, 8% nylon, 8% spandex, and 4% rubber. So that's the composition of the sock itself. Uh, you can see there's a nice little uh, 511 here um, that's that's uh, printed in, embroidered in, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the main part of this sock that, that comes to my attention is this part right here. Um, it's really quite nice. There are multiple zones of compression. Now up here on the top, it's kind of th a little bit thinner on the top. Um, and the reason for that, I think, is so the heat can escape more easily from the top of your foot and wick uh, any moisture away that might be there. Now, these other zones are of various compression zones. Um, they, they help circulate and wick away moisture from your foot. Um, so there's different zones of compression. Uh, it's got a nice heel um, in it. I've had these socks for a while. You can see they're a little bit discolored. Um, they used to be pretty much all white and black. Um, but for some reason, um, the boots, the various bears of boots I've been wearing, maybe have discolored them over time. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's from the wash, wash many washings they've been through. Um, but overall, they do a really good job of wicking away moisture um, from your foot. And they... They do a very good job at it. You take them off at the end of the day, it's like, wow, well, like any boots or socks, like, I'm glad I have them off now. I feel much better. But um, compared to a normal sock, these are much, much better. Um, your feet maybe don't get as tired as fast. Um, they sweat probably just as much. Um, but they stay somewhat drier, and they don't get as um, irritated as they would otherwise. <clears throat> I can still use sock liners uh, with these socks, and they'll—I haven't done that yet, but they'll probably still maintain their effectiveness. Um, haven't had a need to at this point. I haven't gone to use these in super heavy-duty conditions where I needed sock liners or um, super cold conditions where I would need that. Um, overall, they're very nice. Now they have different lengths as well. Um, this is the eight-inch variety. So if you have like uh, higher boots, um, you might want the eight inch. Um, I think um, most of my boots uh, aren't really aren't, aren't super tall, um, so I'm gonna in the future uh, probably stick with the six inch variety, and they seem to be they seem to be fine. They also come in multiple color colorations. Um, they have brown, black, and white. Now. Um, I pick black because the black boots that I have uh, it goes rather well. Um, but say for example, I have my uh, my tan boots. I got some white ones for obvious reasons. Now with these uh, white ones, you can see they do discolor a little bit more than the black. In the heel region, they look a little bit more discolored. Um, however. <clears throat> up in this area, I've worn these about the same amount. Um, maybe these just slightly less. Um, but you can see <clears throat> something going on here. I'm not really sure what that is. It's some kind of ribbing effect. <clears throat> and you only see it on the outside. So it may be from the boot or not really sure what it's from. But, um... It's pretty much on on the white on the white pairs of socks um, that I have from 511. Uh, that's that's what I see. Um, 
Also, the black boots may, may leave a little bit of residue behind. I don't want to bleach these. Um, I don't know if it's recommended to bleach them, but I didn't really want to take the risk. Not really a big deal for me. Um, let me show you some of the construction on the inside um, of the sock. You can, you can see here, um, when the socks were new, they still had some of this uh, loose material around. Um, so this is not really a new occurrence. Um, this is just the way they probably manufacture the sock. Um, it doesn't really create any uncomfort inside of the boot when you're wearing it, um, but I kind of know it's there. Um, so you can see here, the uh, this corresponds over here to, to where they, they make that transition, I guess, to a different compression zone. Um, they use some maybe different material, it's different um, density of material, different stitching, uh, how many how many how many threads are uh, in an inch or whatever. Um, so you get the the right elasticity for every part of the foot. I'm sure they've done a lot of research into the different parts of the foot and uh, how to how to best improve circulation in that aspect with different compression zones. Because uh, these these are very comfortable. I've worn these up to like 14 hours in my boots, and I've not really had a problem. They are very comfortable. It's probably a combination between the high quality boots that I now have and the high quality boot socks that I now have. <clears throat> so it's probably a combination of both um, that uh, that I can really not have a problem in long time in my boots now. Um, before with lower quality socks and poor boots and uh, sometimes it was a struggle for for long durations um, you can see here same with the white sock different compression zones uh, you can see exactly where they start and stop so uh, really overall they're nice socks I would highly recommend if you're looking for a good boot sock um, 511 is uh, one of the better ones out there that I've seen and um, one of the one of the complaints that I do have with 511, I don't know if it's if they can address this somehow, but they have a summer sock, they have a level one sock and a level two sock. One's for like fall, summer, and then another one for winter. Um, there's different different um, gives you different padding. Uh, the thickness is different. But the really only way to tell them apart that I can see is you gotta feel the material. Um, you can you can kind of feel how thick the material is. You can kind of go like this and try, like, well, that's I think that's a level one. And if this was a black sock, you'd be like, oh well, that might be a level two. So you have to like kind of sort through them. And but if they had if they had like maybe a little one or like a level one or maybe just something inside the cuff, maybe a little tag or something, or something that identifies this sock as a level one or a level two, um, would be really nice. Um, maybe that exists, I really don't know. Um, I didn't see anything in the literature um, on how to tell the difference between a level one and a level two. Um, the thicknesses are pretty similar that the, the level ones are a little thinner and uh, if you if you just take a few seconds to feel it you can figure it out somewhat easily but I, I think a visual cue um, or some kind of label would make that more effective <clears throat> um, I haven't had any of the summer um, boot socks out yet that are out uh, I, I do plan maybe on getting some of those in the future but um I have to see on I might try a different boot sock as well but um these I would hope would last for a very very long time uh, I think I have about five pair of these guys and um, they're listed on the 511 website as uh, 12 dollars a pair that's right $12.99 for one pair of socks now usually I go to Walmart right and I get these socks here right we've all seen these before these, uh, they're garbage, <laughs> uh, more or less, when compared to uh, these nice 511s. Um, you pay eight bucks for a whole pack of these guys, less than a dollar a pair or so, maybe a dollar a pair, whatever. But um, 
for a high quality boot sock has a lot of uh, research behind it, a lot of technology behind it, and the different materials they use. And um, I think 5.11 did a really outstanding job with these socks because I'm, I'm very happy with them. So if you have any other comments or questions or um, tell me about experiences you've had with your boot socks, um, I'm just telling you these are, these are really quite high quality. I'm going to be sticking with these guys for a while. So um, anything else, uh, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.